Hey, it's Akilah and Ryan here, and today I'm going to be discussing the benefits of journaling. I like to sit back and watch a tree grow. I like the way they think it's all growth, not an ego. I wish that you could speak to these moms. If you're new to my channel, my name is Akilah Maria, and I'm a mindset coach. I empower women to believe in themselves by rediscovering their worth. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for the algorithm so that way it can reach more people. So the benefits of journaling allows you to release any negative energy that you have that just feels so overwhelming. You put it on paper, it releases some of the energy off of you and puts it on paper. And you can also be able to work through anything that you are struggling with. So if you have a question, something you've been questioning yourself on or if you're trying to make a decision, writing it out and journaling on it is going to allow you to make a wise decision. Instead of trying to think and think and think in your head, you can release some of the ideas onto paper and then think some more, release them on paper, instead of just trying to be like in a loop of just thinking and thinking. So I definitely recommend writing out and trying to come up with a solution or trying to make a choice on paper so that way you can release the thoughts another benefit of journaling it just allows you to just feel calm and my favorite is that you get to look back at how far you've come i know that some people say that you're supposed to just leave it in the past and not go back to it but not me i'm not one of those people I was able to get over an X by looking at my journals because I wrote everything in it, everything. And I spent some time, read through my journal, and it helped me realize the relationship wasn't as great as I thought it was. It was all in my head. I thought that it was perfect, that I just lost the most perfect man. No. <laughs> we weren't meant to be together and he wasn't meant for me, I wasn't meant for him, it just wasn't a thing. So looking back at my journal allowed me to see that and understand that. And it, I, I almost snapped my fingers like I was over him like that. It wasn't the case, but allowed me to, it allowed the pain of not having him anymore go away a lot smoother. So looking back and also being able to see the growth that you've made as an individual, being able to see different goals that you may have made and if you've achieved those goals, and just being able to release any and everything that comes to mind feels great. I usually journal before I go to bed and when I wake up, I journal. And that helps with the overthinking. So if you're someone who is overthinking, I definitely recommend journaling more often than not, at least once a day for 10 minutes a day at least it will make all the difference in your progress and your journey and it'll help you see what it is that works for you and what doesn't it all depends on what you write in your journal and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because i'm going to be discussing different topics that you can journal on so that way you know if you are somebody who is struggling just like well what do i write and nothing's coming to mind then those topics will allow you to just get started and you might venture off into something else, but the topics will allow you to get started on your journaling journey. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. So that way you're notified every time that I upload a new video. I upload Monday through Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. So definitely stay tuned and stay tuned for the recommended videos after this. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for the algorithm and share it with your family and friends. Like I said, I'm a mindset coach and I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching going on right now. So if you're interested in working through your limiting beliefs and limit your overthinking, believe in yourself more so that way you can achieve your goals, then hit the link in the description below so you can book your free connection call with me and we can discuss 
possibly working together and whether or not I can help you with what you're struggling with. I hope you have a positive, blissful day or night whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for your support. Always remember to be love, be peace, be positive, spread love everywhere you go, and always, always be you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, growth, not a ego. I wish that you could speak to these motherfuckers.